Rule a big country the way you'd cook a small fish. If Tao is used to govern the world, evil spirits have no power. Their power is not gone, but it does not harm the people. Their power does not harm the people, and it does not harm the sage. As they suffer no harm, their virtues unite and return to them. To start our breakdown of this chapter from the Tao Te Ching, I want to take and examine these first two lines. But as we look at these two lines, in order for us to be able to understand the philosophical theory, we first need to understand some culinary theory. That's right, we need to talk about how to properly fry a fish. Now, I for one have almost no experience with this whatsoever. So in preparing to write this script, I found myself falling down a rabbit hole of cooking videos and blogs. I actually found some pretty cool stuff, but there was one paragraph in particular from a blog post that caught my attention. And to be honest, I think the best thing I can do to explain what I learned would be to just read it for you guys, since it's not that long. This excerpt is from ReluctantGourmet.com, and I will link the article in the description so you can go read it for yourself if you'd like. And as I read this, I would invite you to open up your philosophical ears a little bit to try and pull out some lessons on how to govern people. So with that, here's the excerpt from the blog. Remember your mom always tells you not to play with your food? The same is true when cooking fish, or any protein for that matter. The only way you will know when it is time to turn it is when the protein naturally releases from the pan. If you rely on a recipe's instruction to turn after three minutes, you could run into trouble. When a protein has browned nicely, it will release from the pan with minimal sticking, if any at all. Place the fish skin side first in the pan and wait to move it until it lets you. Adjust the heat so you hear a good sizzle, but not very loud sputtering or popping, and allow the fish to cook and develop a nice sear. It takes as long as it takes, but don't walk away. You have to be ready to turn it when it's ready to give. After the first three minutes, try lifting the fish with a wide fish spatula. If it releases easily, gently turn the fish. If not, give it about another 30 seconds and try again. Please don't force it though. You shouldn't have to scrape with the spatula. Okay, so did you get any good lessons from that? For all my Discord members, I am very excited to see the discussion about this in the chapter 60 thread, because there was a lot of good stuff there. For those of you who are not in my Discord, well, come and join my Discord. It's totally free. You get the benefit of an awesome community that loves to talk about topics you're already interested in, the community gets the benefit of another perspective on said topics, and I get the benefit of having my ego boosted from seeing my server member list grow. See? Everybody gets what they want. Plugs aside though, I do want to draw your attention to the part of the paragraph where it said, it takes as long as it takes, but don't walk away. This is an excellent example of Wu Wei in action. If we mess with things too much, they start to go wrong. However, Wu Wei, just like frying a fish, doesn't mean you don't do anything. If we just sat there and watched our fish and never touched it at all, we would have nothing to eat at the end but a nice piece of charcoal. Frying fish and Wu Wei both require action, but they require only the right kind of action. They require action that is taken only at the right moment and only the right amount, no more and no less. Notice also that the author says don't walk away. Although the chef isn't poking or prodding the fish unnecessarily, they are not away doing something else. They are still actively involved in the cooking. They are watching and observing, ready for the telltale signs that it's time to act. No action is taken other than the right action at the right time. A frank fish tells the story of when to flip it with outward indicators that can be observed, but sometimes our life situations don't do this. Well, that's not exactly true. There are indicators in life to tell us when to act, but often we need to be attentive to intuition in order to pick them up. Just as the cook attentively observes the fish for signs that it's ready to flip, we must attentively observe our intuitions to be prepared for the subtle urges that beckon us to act. Moving on in the chapter, we're told that when Tao is used to govern the world, evil spirits are not able to harm others. Maybe you believe in spirits and maybe you don't. I'm not going to dive into the complicated and intricate world of Chinese spirit belief, but suffice it to say that the ancient Chinese did believe in spirits, both good and bad. They believed that there were both good and evil beings in the unseen world that could influence the earth and people through their various powers. Whether or not you do believe in spirits, we can acknowledge that there are influences all around us to act virtuously or non-virtuously. This is one of the many problems with trying to change our behavior through force of will alone. Even if we succeed in changing a behavior, we often remain open to the influences that caused that behavior in the first place. Many people who have struggled with addictions have discovered that stopping a behavior is not simply a matter of abstaining from a substance or behavior, 
but learning to deal with the states of mind that used to prompt them to engage with that substance or behavior in the first place. If we want to really change our lives, it isn't enough just to act different. We need to really become different. Following the path of the Tao changes a person. That is one of the remarkable things about the Tao. It brings a person to a state of oneness naturally. The path to this oneness lies in following intuition. It lies in softness and stillness. Finding this path is the whole point of Taoism. Thanks for watching, and I will see you all tomorrow for chapter 61. Peace and blessings. And join the Discord.